Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a brand new product from Fleetwood that I'm calling the smallest Class A gas motorhome that you can actually full time in. This is the 2021 Fleetwood Fortis Model 32RW with a stackable washer dryer. I'm super excited to show it to you. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be showing you guys this all new brand and floor plan from Fleetwood. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea. Hi everyone. How's it going? It's going good. I'm so excited to show everybody this Fortis. Yeah, it's so great with a stackable washer dryer. Yes. And why don't you tell everybody where we are? We are in Tampa, guys. We're at our Tampa location. Yes, now, look at it. It's empty. Oh yeah, because <laughs> they're almost sold out of stuff as well. Now listen, I really wanted to do a Holiday Rambler Invicta 32 because the Invicta and the Fortis are the exact same product, but the Fortis was just in a better position. So let's begin. Model is 32RW, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 34 feet 6 inches. This is the all new Fortis. I absolutely love the headlight design. Look at this. It looks so beautiful and nice. And you guys ready for this? A lot of people are going to be wondering what's the difference between the Fortis and the Invicto. It is just this emblem right here. That's it. One says Holiday Rambler, one says Fleetwood. I promise you, exact same everything. This is powered on the new Ford. It has the new Ford 7.3 liter V8 engine. It is the Godzilla <laughs> engine. 320 horsepower with 468 foot pounds of torque. Right up here, we have your chrome mirrors. And then you do have side cameras integrated in the left blinker, right blinker, and reverse. Check out these tires, Andrea. These are the Michelin tires. 235-80R22.5. So, yes, these do give you the 22.5-inch tires. So check it out. In the Fleetwood world, this is a step above a flare, but a step below a bounder. It's that perfect combination of quality and price. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh. Big screen TV, look at that frog. Right? Ooh. We got storage down there, watch your hands. Got it. Speakers on the outside. Frameless awnings throughout the whole motorhome. Frameless windows. That's what I meant, frameless <laughs> windows. Frameless awnings as well. You got a little bit of storage right there. Inverters back there Your as inverter. well. And then check this out, we have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Oh, good. Nice power awning with LED lights. Took me a second to find the button. I love that. I like that you don't have to stand there and push it. Right. Believe it or not, it's a big pain in the butt having to do that. Nice. And the LED light trip is at the end of the awning. Over here, we got some more storage. Nice, nice, nice. Right here batteries nope more story wow okay right here here's where you fill up your potable water fill potable 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 mm -hmm. okay this is great look at all the storage yeah man nice storage right there's a propane quick connect all right you want to have an exterior grill over here we got more storage right and then right here we have oh. even more storage that's great. Nice. We can do it. We can do it. I think he's crazy. Coming around the back. How many roofs have you climbed today? A lot. No bumper for the stinky slinky. Oh no, we might not be able to do it. I know, I don't, I don't. Oh, we got oh, it, we, we got, got it. it. No bumper for the stinky slinky. Right here, 8,000 pound hitch. This motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. You can safely tow 5,000 pounds. Anything more than that, 
you're gonna want to check your specifications and everything your GVWR and crap right up there you do have your backup camera also we got a one-piece PPO roof let's go uh, and take a look. I hope you stretched for before this hold on go now. he's just so excited to climb up on the roofs okay up here on the roof you can see this is a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Look at this solar panel. I love how so many manufacturers are starting to put it on already. You got your uh, Max Air fans right there. WineGuard digital antenna, Wi-Fi Ranger, and it is prepped for a satellite. You're coming down to the ladder that's shaky. There you go. One, one more. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV sales with gold things badass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. That's pretty shop. That's generator running. It's Cummins Onan 5500 generator. You got your city water fill and your black tank flush right there. Fuel fill up. 50 amp power cord right there. More storage. Auto transfer switch, other pass-through storage. Nice. You got an outdoor shower up here. Here's your wet bay. Okay. Black and gray tank dump. Water heater I like. How they continue the decals I over agree. it. More storage. This would be batteries. Nope. Hydraulic fluid for your auto leveling. And this is going to be a propane. Andrea, we're going to have all the tank size. Propane tanks, Lang Swiss, everything about this motor home. Down in the description below. Also right here. Bing. For everybody to watch on television. Andrea. Yes. It's been a long day. Yes. This is the last one of the day. Yes. <laughs> and the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Oh, and for those of you people, you people who say, I don't skip because I'm at Tampa, watch me now. <laughs> watch me now, girl. Watch me now. Oh. So good. What's a cargo carrying capacity? Cargo carrying capacity, 3,721 pounds. That's insane. Wow. Okay. As you can see, the slide is in, everybody. Matt, let me get through before you open it up. Okay, so here's the walkway here to the bathroom. I got plenty of space. There's the bathroom. And the bedroom. I love that the bed is accessible. All right. Ignition must be on. Oh, here we go now. Oh, there's that slide going out. Here, actually, hold this button, Andre. Let's just hold that one. Oh, snap, double slide outs. <laughs> they got them both going. Now, while the slide outs are coming out, we do have a huge favor to ask everybody. If you could, please, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you love about this Holiday Rambler Fleet, Fleetwood Ford. Whoa, whoa. Fleetwood, this Fleetwood Fortis. Fortis. And let us know three things you don't like about it. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people you likes to promote our videos too. And Andrea. We thank you guys. We thank each and every one of you. By the time this video is airing, we are so close to 70,000 subscribers. And we could not have done it without each and every one of us. And we appreciate everybody's comments. Keep them coming, guys. Even you, Topanga. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> That's a real person too. She's a hater. All right, over here. Let me turn this down. Over here in the cockpit area, oh my gosh. Auto leveling right here. You got your Fleetwood dash. Even though this is a new Fleetwood uh, V8 engine, they did not change the double screens. I absolutely love that. 
It's going to give you Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, blinker, side cameras, reverse cameras, everything. It's going to tell you your miles per gallon, and it's going to be awesome. Andrea, you want to sit in my co-captain seat? Absolutely. It looks pretty, pretty comfy. Now look, the leg space looks a little tight. Yeah, I'm going to move it. But once you sit, the seat like sinks. Is it power? It's right there. No, it's right there. Pull okay. that up. Nope. You had it the first time. <laughs> yep, pull that up. Uh-huh. It's not going anywhere. All right. Well. But I'm good. It's okay, user so. error. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right so there. Yep. This is, this is one of the things I really like is having this. Yep. You know, we could use it as a home office. Um, you know, there's a lot of people now that are out there doing mobile. Full time. And, yeah. and this is a great motorhome to do it. Cup holder. It's not too long. The Cup seat's holder. Really, the seat's comfortable. I'd probably give it out of my four C's. I'd give it a, a three. Three C's. Absolutely. Okay. What about storage above? Mm, very nice. Very nice. Both seats to swivel. Yep. There is a place for the pedestal table there. And we got the bunk over the cab. Yes. Let's see what this looks like when it's all the way down. Is it over there? It's always the last place you look. I know. Here it is. Down. That is the Heidelhoff bed. 600 pounds, Andrea. What? That's that, awesome. They went up. That's how much they hold. Go check it out. Look how big it is. Now it is a thin mattress. Oh no, it's like it's like memory foam. Yeah, but it's nice. Wow. And it is again. A lot of people got to remember that is for your non-paying customers. I think it's looks pretty comfortable. They've come a long way, you know, with those yep. bunks. Now, if you want to back up here to show this whole living room area. I, I really do like this setup with what they did here. They gave you the sofa directly across from the dinette, above the dinette. And that's where your uh, TV is as well. Over here, look at this nice cabinetry. Very nice. I like the little things right there. You have your MCD privacy shades. Definitely not daytime shades. Again, this is still a price point motorhome. But this is just a very comfy couch. So Andrea, sit in it. Fleetwood makes pretty good, you know, their products that you use for sofas and dinettes are usually pretty comfortable. Yep, right Guys, there. Guys, look at this. Oh, it's like this a zebra. I've never seen somebody do that. It's Either like a zebra. I. Nice. They, they, they got some kids spunk in here. Yeah, some, 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 sass. some character. I like for it. For sure. And this is a jackknife sofa, right? Yep. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Well, you know. <laughs> So yeah, you can sleep like one person on there. And then we got the dinette over here. We got a, oh, we got storage under there. A little there. bit of storage under the dinette. The dinette does drop down to make a bed. Okay, they got these new corners there. I don't know if I'm gonna like that too much. You got a uh, cup holders there. Still a nice little window, which I'm a fan of. It's like a little panoramic looking one. Yeah, and then a TV right there. And I like, look at that. Did you see that, the light above the slide? Oh yeah. Very nice. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Beep, 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 beep. MSRP on this motorhome here is $168,090 MSRP. We currently have it sale priced for $124,000. 999 that is a phenomenal price but andrea as great as the price as it is and on great as the motorhome as this is we can always do a little bit better than that tell everybody what to do you can call you can text you can email we can facetime hey 301-906-0962 or mats or reviews at gmail.com or check out the website MattsRVReviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page down below. Andrea, let's continue this video. Okay, Matt. Well, before you begin, no, 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 before you begin, look yeah, at this. Yeah, I was gonna say. Look at that, look at that, look at that. You know what that is? What is that? Art Deco. Mm, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, why don't you just show everybody the kitchen? But I do wanna show everybody this. Look at this, the detail on here with this wallpaper and this the colors that they've used and i really like the handle on the door matt yep 
Okay, so here's the kitchen guy. Whoa. What's up, Vincent? How's it going? You got customers? Yeah. Come on in. We got the AC on for you. That's nice. All right. Sorry about that, folks. We had to take a little, little commercial break because customers were looking at this RV. Andrea, why don't you show everybody the kitchen area? All right. Here we go, guys. Nice, beautiful cabinetry with adjustable shelves. Uh-huh. Solid surface countertop. Beautiful. Um, we got three drawers here. One, Very nice. Two, three. And show that power outlet. That's great. Yep. Very nice spot. I like how the backsplash is the back and the side. It goes all the way around and it matches really good with the colors and my favorite. Look at that sink. Farmhouse sink. Look at that, look at that sink. <laughs> look at that, look at that sink. Get the front of it. Burk, burk, get the burk. Look okay. at, look at that sink. Okay, and look, we got the extension here. Got a That's nice going to be the newest rap song. <laughs> you ready? Look at that, look at that sink. Hey. <laughs> got a nice cabinet under here for nice. a trash can. Now, I guess they're giving you a convection microwave. I love that. That's it takes awesome. no more space than a regular microwave. I love how it's that, and you still get the regular oven. Three burner cooktop with the yep. cover. Oops, sorry guys. And we got a nice Dometic oven. Absolutely. And we got the, now this is a regular camp size fridge, isn't it? Yeah, but it's compressor. It's yeah. compressor. That's great. Very nice. Ooh, and it's cold. It is cold. And, and we got then, pantry right there. Yes, we do. Pantry. What's behind you there? Oh, Look wow. at that more pantry. Again, Andrea, I'm calling this the smallest motorhome you can full-time in. And don't get me wrong, you can full-time in any motorhome. I like home. that door. Yeah, you can full-time in any motorhome. Lights, I mean, lights, lights. All right, there we go. This, this is just what I'm talking about. This is why. This is a 30 by 36 shower. Andrea, I love this. This is just so nice. This is what it's all about when you're camping. You know, I don't want to be sharing like this. You I know, know. I want to have space. I love that. Show everybody this cabinetry. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm all dirty. We got dirty. <laughs> Adjustable shelves. Dre, are you dirty? No. You dusty? Yes, I'm dusty. We got another adjustable shelf here. We got uh -huh. a fan up there. Yep. I like that there's counter space in here. Yep. Nice sink and a cabinet underneath. It's now time for the toilet test. You getting in there? Yes, I am. This is a nice ice shower. Porcelain. Close the door. I want to see. Yeah. This makes it, folks. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Good job, Very Playwood. nice. Very nice. All right, let's check out this living room. I mean, I this mean, bedroom. And look at, the, look at the entryway into the bedroom, how big that is. And the bed does not even need to fold up. And we got a pocket door. Closing slides. This is fantastic. This is beautiful, look. Look at that Now, TV. a lot of people might be like, oh, well, we don't get a fireplace under there because the sofa's across from the dinette, but you do get one here. You got a TV on a televator. I love that. There's a window behind it and a window right there. And I'll show you, this just feels like an actual bedroom. What's the matter there, Matt? You having a hard time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, right there. You got your TV that goes up and down right there. Yeah, I want to see that window. Power. Yeah. Look at that balance, you guys, how long that is. It actually looks cute. It looks zesty. It's sassy. Sassy, that's the word I meant. I meant, I said zesty, but I meant sassy. It's Fine. nice to see them doing something different at least. Yep. Look at this king size bed. I love the side windows right here. I like the backsplash. Look at this. They have a CPAP station right there. You mean the headboard? Yeah, the what would I call it? Backsplash. Not the backsplash, the headboard. You know what I mean. That's nice. It has a light up there. Yep. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I, I gotta say, you know. I'm liking, I think they're cute, the balances, guys. I think it looks, you know, different, and I like that. I'm looking, and I'm liking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check out what's going on here. Wow, big, That's big, a great wardrobe. Big wardrobe. We got something Look, here. Big wardrobe. Wow. Huge wardrobe. Big wardrobe in, in the back. And Andrea, to wrap let's it all see. up. 
the grand finale prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. I absolutely love that. That's great. It is just so great because here's what's great. I'm actually glad that they didn't put it in here in this one because then it would have raised the price about 3000 But it's great because it's optional oh, because yeah. if you want it, you want it. If you don't, it's just even more storage. And then let's check. Nope. No storage under the bed. Okay. No storage under the bed. I did see the fuse box down there. But that's it, Andrea. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Fortis and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we dislike about it. You sure that's a good idea? Okay. I don't, no, no, no. I'm just saying, I don't know three things. Well. Do you have a couple things? Hit me first. Hit me first. You go first. You go first. Of course. It's hard. Of it's, course he's going to do this to me, guys. It, 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 it's. Okay. I, I got to think about my dislikes. I. I okay. I don't like the window here. Really? Yeah. Why? I, um, I would have liked it better if it, it had the bigger window. So a oh, bigger. It was on its elevator, maybe in here. Yeah, but I don't know if they could have done that, or it would have been better. Actually, how cool would it have been if they had like a window there, That's a window there, I mean. and yeah. a window underneath? Well, I just don't more know. windows. But I think that you know it would have been nice if it would have had. The, at least there is a window, but yeah, I, that that's all. Okay, well that's one. Two, here's what I'm gonna say. These seats are very cushy and comfy. Um, but yes. This seat, I don't even know why they made it swivel because it's not even practical. You'd have to go all the way back. Well, not all, it, it's such a big seat, which is yeah. awesome. That's a plus how comfy it is. But for the reality of turning it around, it's just not gonna right. work out well. Especially with the pedestal table there yeah. and everything. Yeah, that's just not gonna work. So that's two. And then three, 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 three. Do you have one? Well, I gotta say. You better not. <laughs> I I feel like there should have been a residential refrigerator in here. I'm sorry. I feel like with me having yeah. being in here full time. You know and, what I concur. Yes. No, no. Continue what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, it. This is a regular camp size fridge. Yep. Even though it's a compressor. Yep. It is a regular camp size fridge. And I believe that a residential would have been a lot better in here. Let me let me add to that, wife of mine. <laughs> if this was the only pantry, I would 100% disagree with you. But because the fact that's that there. we have this, right? We don't need this, right. and you are 100% right. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Do you want to go first or me? You can go first. Okay, I'm doing it. Over there, please. Love the bathroom. Love the bathroom. I love the bathroom. I love the yes, bathroom. Yes, the bathroom's great. It's just, there's plenty of storage, plenty of cabinetry, great position and everything. And everything is just awesome. Prime boot position, big shower, and I love that. So that's one, two. I love the way the bedroom is set up. Uh-huh. I absolutely love this window here. The televator. Yes. I love that there's. I like that there's a fireplace in here. Exactly. One, if no, if you guys have never been camping before. Trust me, this is a great. Uh, it's great heat company. source. Heat yeah. Heat source. Yeah. I mean, we've used fireplaces plenty of times, and it kicks out a good amount of heat. And it does it based off electricity. Yes, which is great. And then I, I must say, I'm gonna add to that and then wrap it up with that because I love how spacious it is in here. And I love the king size bed. Yes. And to wrap it all up with the number three things we love about this motorhome is just the storage and the fact that you're able to get a stackable washer dryer in such a short motorhome. Andrea. So many people have asked for it. This is a new, relatively new product by Fleet with the Fortis. It's only been out for about six or eight months. And the um, 32RW is their newest floor plan. And let me tell you, like Juan Soto on the Washington Nationals, they hit it out of the park. Absolutely. With this model. Absolutely, I agree. But that's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you could, please do us a favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome. Or wait, no, is that your part? That's your part. <laughs> my bad. If you have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com. 
or 301-906-0962. That's myself. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page down below. Andrea, it's been a long day. Why don't you wrap this up for everybody? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Fleetwood does read the comments, so we appreciate everybody's feedback. Also, I hope you guys are doing well and you guys stayed safe. I hope you enjoyed this RV as much as we did. Yep. And next time we travel, y'all, we're going to be, we, we got a couple units in in Ocala that we're going to record. And then the next time we travel, we'll be going back to Jacksonville. So let us know if there's something up there that you want us to do. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll see you next time.